guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today I am here with a home fragrance empties so these are items that I have finished both from Scentsy as well as vendor wax I have a candle today I haven't had a candle in a really long time so as always I will leave timestamps for each vendor in the description box so that way if you want to jump around you know where to go Let's start with the candle that I finished. I really need to be a candle burner over the next few months. A couple of the drawers that I have in this green unit right here are filled with candles. And it's just to the point where it's like, I'm never reaching for them. Like it's so rare. Definitely reach for them more in the fall and winter. Um, in the summer, I don't want to add like the heat to the house but I just need to make an effort to do so. So finish off this one and then I have a candle in the kitchen right now as well. So I hope to work through a little bit of my candles over the next few months, but this one from Bath and Body Works was Mary Cookie. So I burned this halfway down and then I put this in the candle crock to finish off its life. This is fresh baked cookies, sparkling sugar crystals and rich vanilla. This is a really good scent. I paired it with some vanilla scents that you will see kind of later on in the empties, but I really enjoyed that. Excited to have a candle finished as well. Um, from the Melted Mousse, I finished Oh Holy Night. This was a souffle. This one is Palo Santo Roasted Marshmallow Charred Wood and Leaves. This was really good. I can't say it was like a favorite, but I really love her Palo Santo. Her roasted marshmallow is a very creamy marshmallow. It reminds me a lot of Campfire Marshmallow from Rose Girls, where it's a little less smoky and it's definitely like heavy on the sweetness. You got that charred woods kind of smoky burnt note. This was a great scent. I probably would get another souffle of it, but don't think I need to get tons more of it, but really enjoyed that one. From Sassy Girl Aroma, I finished off a brittle of At the North Pole. I have, I think, one more of these in my collection. This is such a great peppermint. This is sweet peppermint sticks with a creamy, rich vanilla, and really that's what it is. It is a very vanilla heavy peppermint and this is strong a powerhouse um, I only like these types of scents really in the winter or um, in the evening in my bedroom I find peppermint to be kind of calming and soothing but I mainly melt it in the winter so I'll probably save my other brittle for next winter but really loved that and then also from Sassy Girl I finished my loaf at my loaf in Christmas at Santa's so this was going on you know two years old here so I definitely knew that I didn't want to put this one back in my collection for next winter I for sure wanted to finish it this winter this is pepperberry wreath sugar cookies and marshmallow fireside this is such a great scent you get the pepperberry wreath but you get the marshmallow fireside smokiness you get the the baked sugar cookie note. This is one of my favorite scents from Sassy Girl. One of my favorite scents of all time and probably my number one favorite Christmas scent. It's just so pretty. So I have a couple brittles of this. Um, Teddy Bee's Holiday is really similar. Second and Spruce has a scent that's really similar. So I've actually got quite a bit of this type of scent in my collection right now. This performed beautifully. No complaints. Love that so much. From Super Tarts, I finished my Bam Bag in Violet. Now, I'm pretty sure I purchased more of this during the Wax Wednesday sale. I love this scent. I've gone through a lot of these um, over the years, and this is definitely my number one favorite peppermint type scent. This is peppermint, cotton candy, and blackberry. I love Blackberry from many vendors, but I think that Super Tarts has a really 
a great blackberry. Plus you get the sugary sweetness from the cotton candy. It just meshes so well with the peppermint and helps the peppermint not be like overly pepperminty, you know, because you really get those fruity notes. I melt this a lot in the bedrooms and bathrooms. Really enjoyed this scent. If you like peppermint, if you like blackberry, and if you haven't tried violet, I would highly recommend doing so. From Lavender and Speckles, I finished two. One in Strawberry Musk. You guys know this is like my favorite scent from her. This is Strawberry Pound Cake and blended with Iced Vanilla Woods. It's so good, you guys. Oh my gosh. You get that beautiful bakery sweet strawberry pound cake. You get that Icy Vanilla Woods. I see Vanilla Woods to me as slightly masculine, slightly outdoorsy, woodsy, cologne-like, just blended together, so pretty. Love that so much. I have quite a bit of that in my stash. And then Leaves and Smoke. I have quite a bit of this one in my stash right now as well. This is Leaves, the Bath and Body Works type. Smoke, Cedar, Oud, and a hint of Evergreen. This is just... So smoky. The smokiest leaves scent. It's really, really good. This is a powerhouse. Great for the fall time. I just, I didn't get around to melting it this fall. So it worked its way over into winter. But I love this. I have more of this. And I would definitely get that again. From Kay's Scent and Melts. I finished a clamshell in Vanilla Bean Noel. This is the Bath and Body Works type. This is Vanilla Bean Rich Caramel and Cream. Um, I really love Vanilla Bean Noel. It's such a nice caramel vanilla scent, and this is an exact dupe. However, this winter alone, I've gone through three clamshells of this, and I've really not gotten much scent from it. So don't think this one is for me. I'm not gonna get this one again but I love Vanilla Bean Noel, and this does smell exactly like Bath & Body Works, so um, give this one a try if you like Vanilla Bean Noel. Hopefully you'll have better luck with it, but I'm just not getting the performance with that one. This one, though, this is Apple Butter Frosting. So this one Carla sent to me, which was so sweet. Thank you very much, um, very much, Carla, for sending this. So this is her version of Scentsy's Apple Butter Frosting. So she sent this one to a couple of us here on YouTube just to get our opinions on how close it was. And I think it's a dot on dupe. I melted a lot of apple butter frosting back in the day. Um, sadly, don't have any of it, but I don't feel like I need it because I have this now. It is perfect. Baked apple, cinnamon, vanilla buttercream. It's, it really is a cinnamon sugar apple with that vanilla buttercream. It is so good. It is one of the best bakeries ever. Honestly, I think I like Carlos better than I like Scentsy's. I think that this one was a better performer than Scentsy's. This lasted a full 24 hours in my warmers. Put this um, in the open concept. This was like a, a gingerbread man. I love this. I do have a clamshell of this that I purchased, so I do have a little bit more of it, but I'm excited to keep getting that in the future. Okay, from L3, I finished a sample in Oregon Autumn. This was sent to me from Stephanie from Steph Loves Life. I really love this scent. I do have some more of this. Use this in my bathroom. It is just such a nice fresh scent. I think the notes are like rain and leaves or something like that. It's not leaves like Bath and Body Works type. It's really heavy, kind of on the rain. It's a very fresh blend. I love that. So thank you, Stephanie. And then one day when I was burning uh, Mary Cookie, I also was melting Cabin in the Woods. I thought those would go nicely together. So Cabin in the Woods is Amala Fireside Earl Grey Tea and Vanilla Buttercream. You really got their Earl Grey Tea. I feel like when I first got this scent, 
I, I did get some of the tea, but I mainly got the vanilla buttercream and the marshmallow fireside. After this has set a while and after I warmed it, I think I really got more of the Earl Grey tea and less of the buttercream, less of the marshmallow fireside. But I really enjoyed this and paired with the Mary Cookie Candle, they meshed so well. I think I do have another one of this. This was from her, when she did those word bars, they almost looked like a chocolate bar and they had words like Mary and cheer and you know, just different Christmassy words. So this is probably a year old, I guess, because I bet I got it the past Christmas. But really enjoyed that. I'm glad I have another one. And then I finished a scoop in today is October 3rd. This is Palo Santo Toasted Malo and Sugar Cookie Royale. If you know, you know this scent, you guys. It's just unbelievable. And I really do get good performance with their scoops. I have a whole loaf of this though. So I don't need to get any more of it right now. But I do like the scoop formula from L3. I think it performs well in my warmers and... I really enjoyed this. It's just the best buttery, creamy Palo Santo scent. If you guys like Palo and if you have not tried today's October 3rd, you're missing out. I'm telling you, this is the best one. This is the best one. So good. Okay, a couple from Second and Spruce. I finished this little baby clam. It was like one big piece I cut in two. Um, this is in North Pole Winds. So this is Cool Minty Breeze with Vanilla. So this was your vanilla peppermint scent. So I actually, I had a whole like peppermint day where I did this. I finished off the last little bit of the brittle from Sassy Girl Aroma. And I finished off a little bit of Violet from Super Tarts all in one day throughout the house. Um, it was just, it was such a nice peppermint <laughs> minty day. I loved it but I split this one in half and put it in one half in my master bathroom, one half in the hall bathroom. It was perfect, great performer. Can't say enough good things about Second and Spruce right now. I'm just, I'm obsessed. Okay, this one. Erica, <laughs> if you're watching, I need this. Smoked eggnog. Or just your plain eggnog. One of the two I would love. This is eggnog, mala fireside, and smoked vanilla. Okay, so this scent shot I cut into four pieces because this is this was strong. You could tell on cold this was strong. So I cut this into four pieces and I put it in all four warmers in my kitchen. This was unbelievable. There's something magic about Erica's wax so I cut this into four I set you know the pieces in each of the warmers within five minutes of me doing that the whole room was filled with scent like what other vendor do you experience that with normally it takes some time to melt and to like produce that throw not with second and spruce this is immediate immediately I got scent from this I loved this and that's great because it kind of tells you that you can get by with a little bit less because of how potent her wax is. Erica, you're killing the game. Please don't change a thing. I loved this so much. Okay, and then my last vendor, right? Yeah, before we go on to Scentsy is Teddy Bees. I only have two items this week for Teddy Bees. First one is a sample in Whipstaff Manor. So this one I melted because Summer was talking about this scent and how she was thinking about de-stashing it because it was so light for her. And I said, well, you know, I've got at least this little sample. I've also got a loaf in a tub, but I'm, I'm letting that sit. And I was like, oh, let me at least melt my sample and I'll see how it performs for me. So I put this whole shot cup into um, a warmer in this room, into a hot plate warmer. And I could smell it, but it was definitely a light to medium scent. It wasn't a powerhouse by any means. I just think this needs more time to cure. I don't think this scent is ready yet. Um, I kind of knew this past fall when I got Whipstaff Manor for the first time and just fell in love with it, that it was gonna be a next 
kind of fall Halloween scent just because of the nature of teddy bees in me. I really feel like giving things six months to a year to cure is preferred. So I think it was too early to melt this, but I did get some scent out of this and I like what I smell. This just smells like the most sophisticated, earthy fall scent ever. It just makes me think of fall and Halloween and I love that. Um, so I'm glad to have been able to test it a little bit because I haven't melted any of this scent because I have been uh, just waiting, <laughs> waiting and waiting for um, it to cure. Okay, and then this one. This is definitely like, I don't know. Of the vendor wax, this is maybe the standout of the week other than that smoked eggnog from Second and Spruce. This is Christmas cookies. If you would have told me that I would have loved this scent, I don't think I would have believed you. So this one is baked cookies, powdered sugar, buttercream, pine, and warm spices. Okay, so I got this one last year. This was poured in October of 2022. And it smells good on cold. I mean, I like it, but I didn't think it was anything super special. Again, I've been letting this sit for a year. I wanted to melt it, you know, this year, Christmas time. This was offered in her pre-order and I didn't pick any up because I thought, oh, it's just okay to me on cold and I have this whole tub of it. I should have got more of it. Not that I need tons of it, but I definitely would love to have another tub setting so I could use it for next Christmas winter time. This comes to life on warm. It is so much better on warm than it is on cold. This was really strong, a good like high medium to high performer. Oh my gosh, you really got the cookies. You got that buttercream, the spices, the pine. I could have picked out every single note. It just was so good. Such a pretty scent with just that slight tint of tree. It's not too tree or anything. It definitely leans more on the like bakery notes, but just that touch of tree. This was so delicious. I loved this. So I melt this, melted this twice in my like kitchen open concept area. Really enjoyed that. Um, would love to get another tub of that in the future. All right. So that's all for vendor wax. Let's move on to Scentsy. So let's see. I have one non Scentsy item, not Scentsy, non wax item. This is the dryer disc in jammy time. So you get two dryer disc um, in here. I don't really know how I feel about this, you guys. I mean, it definitely smells like jammy time. I love the scent of it. You put them in your dryer, kind of like a dryer sheet, and it's supposed to just like add scent to your clothes. I don't really feel like these did really much of anything. I have another one down there as well I'm using, so I'll have at least one more empty. Um, these are not anything I feel like I need to get. Love the scent though. I love jammy time. I think the washer whiffs and the laundry liquid in general, I feel like those do plenty for giving me scent. I didn't feel like I got extra scent from using the dryer disc, but it's just me. I finished a brick. So melted my vanilla bean buttercream while I was burning Mary cookie. This combination was so good. I love vanilla bean buttercream. I have one bar of it, I think, in my, my stash, but I need to do a half price item to get another brick. This truly smells like buttercream frosting that you put like vanilla extract in. It is so good. And then I, the day that I did this where I had Mary Cookie burning, this was in every warmer throughout the house. It just was a bakery vanilla heaven. I forget how much I love this scent. I should melt it more because it's just so pretty. This is buttercream frosting, cane sugar, and vanilla. It's just vanilla buttercream frosting. It is amazing. And the combination with the candle and the brick, it was so good. So the next time I do a Scentsy Club or something like that where I can get a half price item. If I'm not interested in the whip box, I'm gonna get 
a brick of this because 12 bucks to get that big guy. I normally prefer bars, but since they know that I really love to get them for 12 bucks, I'll deal with the brick, even though that's not my preference. Okay, and then I have eight of the Bring Back My Bars, and then we are done. So I have gone through at this point everything I'm going to melt for the Bring Back My Bars. Um, some of them I know I'm just not interested in. So like I might like them fine, but it's not in the right season. So I put them away on my stash. Some of them I gave to Natalie. Some of them I have in a bin um, to send out to other people. Some of them I've melted. So these are the ones I melted and I was trying to make a decision on if I liked it or not. Let's start with this one. Lots of lavender. And I did not look up the scent notes, I'm sorry you guys, but lots of lavender was like lavender and chamomile. This was one of my favorites on cold when we did our Bring Back My Bar first sniffs live. This smells like lavender and pink sugar. It's a very sweet scent. There's no pink sugar in the notes technically, but I really get a pink sugar vibe to this. I thought this was gonna be so beautiful. So I put this whole bar actually in this wax room. So it's split between three warmers. I barely could smell it. Barely could smell it. And I'm like, you know what? That's fine. Um, I think I only have like five bars total from bringing back my bar that I'm really interested in and want to repurchase. And honestly, that's probably okay. <laughs> you know, this just wasn't a bring back my bar for me, but I'm going to stock up on the ones I really love and save the money, you know, for the ones that I don't. Yeah, I wish that this was a better performer because I really love the scent of it, but I just couldn't smell it. So I'm not going to get any more of that. I potentially might get one more of it and just let it sit, but it's not anything I'm, I'm stressed about getting. Toasted apple butter. So this is one that I did not like on cold. Um, but still wanted to give it a, a shot and see. I didn't really like it. It really is just like a spicy apple scent. Um, to me, apple butter has quite a sweet note to it, like real apple butter. And I didn't get anything like that from this bar. It just smelled like apple spice. It was okay. Nothing, nothing in particular that I really fancied about that one. So... Not one I'm gonna get. I do have some wins in here, so just bear with me. Twitter painted. So this is a very fresh, green, earthy scent. It's like moss, grass. This was a powerhouse. Powerhouse. This was a nice scent. I will say, I think I overdid it. I put too many cubes into various warmers around the house and it overpowered me. It was too strong. Um, I have other earthy blends I like better than this. So this is not one I'm gonna get again. It almost has like a slightly perfumey note to it or something. It was okay. Again, I think I just way overdid it. I probably should have just done like two cubes and see, but it's hard because you'd get, you know, you get things like Twitter painted that you're like smelling across the state. And then you get things like lots of lavender that you put the whole bar in and you can't smell anything. So I don't know. All right. Red, cedar, and sage. I did not like this one. Um, this one nauseated me. Even on cold, I didn't really care for this. It smells like a men's cologne or like a men's body wash. You definitely get the sage notes. It's very, very fresh. It's a very fresh, clean cologne scent to me. So I split this bar in between like four warmers in two different rooms. This nauseated me. I could not do it. It literally made me sick to my stomach. Nope. Plenty of other woodsy scents and even cologne scents I like better. So these four, I loved. Um, these next four are ones I'm going to be repurchasing along 
with the toasted caramel sugar. The toasted caramel sugar I had in my last empties, I'm getting like 12 of those. And then I think I'm gonna do six packs of these four. And that's it, Those five, these five, the toasted caramel sugar, and these four are the only ones I'm planning on getting. So, Strawberry Sweetie. I loved this on cold, I loved this on warm, which is so interesting because strawberry in me is sometimes hit and miss. This scent was so good. It is the strongest, juiciest, sweetest candied strawberry you've ever had. It's amazing. It is amazing. This went for like four days <laughs> in my house to the point where I was like, okay, I'm going to take it out now because I want to move on. But I could have left this in. That's how strong this was. This is going to be such a beautiful summertime scent, you guys. I could see doing this on its own. I could see blending it like with a mango would be great. I don't like the bananas one, but if you had this plus the bananas one, if you're into those types of scents, I think that could be really pretty. I think this scent is really, really good, but also basic enough that you can do a lot with it. I loved this one. Yeah, I'm going to get a six pack of that. Oh, man. Frosted Ginger Cookie. So this is one that I had had in the past years ago. I was really excited that this one was coming back because I knew that I enjoyed it. This is such a strong scent. It really smells like you have a fresh ginger cookie that you just took out of the oven and then you like drizzled some like lemon icing on top. It definitely has a very bright kind of lemony note to it. This is strong. This is a powerhouse set. This one for two days in my open concept. I love this one. Again, I'm going to get a six pack of that. My beloved whipped vanilla pear. This was so good. This was so good. Melted this in the bedroom and the wax room here. I loved it. It's strong. It's beautiful. It's a good kind of bakery to put in your bedroom because it's sweet and vanilla. It's not spicy. It's not heavy. I think this was a really nice melt for like the bedroom and this wax room here. It's so good. It's like the sweetest, juiciest pear in like a caramel vanilla drizzle or something like that. I'm going to get at least a six pack. Probably just a six pack. That's going to last me a long time, but I really, I really love this scent. I'm so glad it came back. If you voted for this, because I talked about it, thank you. Because I probably voted for this 150 times, so I'm glad that it made the cut. And then last one, this also is one that I've had before. Um, this one is Caramel Sugar Cone. So I wasn't sure about this one on cold, what I was going to think of it. But I loved this one on warm, you guys. This was kind of the wild card. This is one that I wasn't expecting to love, and I did. It's so sweet. It really is a fresh waffle cone where you've got like caramel drizzle on it. This is beautiful. It was a good performer. Now I did this one in this wax room here. Not sure how it would do open concept. I kind of would be nervous that this would get drowned out in the open concept. But in this wax room it was amazing. So I'm going to pick up six more of that. This would be good to blend too. Um, it's just kind of that, you know, basic, and I don't mean that in a negative way, but just your basic waffle cone, um, caramel vanilla scent that just pairs well with everything that I think it'd be a good blender. I'm not going to waste it blending. I'm going <laughs> to melt it on its own, but I love that. So yeah, doing strawberry sweetie, caramel sugar cone, whipped vanilla pear, frosted ginger cookie, and the toasted caramel sugar. Those are my bring back my bar winners. Those are the ones that I'm going to repurchase. But that is it. Those are all of my empties from Vendor Wax, Candles, and Scentsy that I finished over the last couple of weeks. I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I used up. 
thank you guys so much for watching. I will chat with you very soon in my next one. Bye.